Greetings family. We're here on our Accra City Tour and we're here at W.E.B. Du Bois Memorial Center for Pan-African Culture. So family, this is one of our you know, first set of sites that we came and visited here in Ghana in 2006, December. So the journey has continued and now we're here for the 17th year and uh, we're just keeping the energy strong. And uh, we literally just uh, got here two days ago. Yeah, today is May 27th. Got here on May 25th, African Liberation Day. And so what you have right here is a nice bus of the boys. And uh, we're looking to take a nice group picture here. And once you come to the, uh, this uh, Pan-African compound, you have his memorial right here on the right. And then you have the museum itself uh, the, directly behind the bus. So once you get in your family, it's just the life legacy of W.E.B. Du Bois and also just the energy of Pan-Africanism. You have another room, the Wall of Civil Rights and African Leaders. So all these places that we take you to family, we just always highly recommend that you just uh, continue the energy because when you talk about entrance fee and you talk about people showing up and supporting, that's the only way to keep a museum open. So wherever we travel to in Africa or in the world, you know, that's where you're gonna see us at museums and historical places. And like one time I was there in uh, London, England, and you know, went to the British Museum, went to the Africa section, and then they have a separate Egypt section. You know, it's what it is, but you know, our goal is to document and share information. Black Resistant Month. Now this, I love this energy right here. And after being here so many times, uh, what you do see here is also different presentations. And straight ahead is a library. And we'll just give you a good peek inside. And then we're going to head to the back. Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3, which talks about histories of eight African countries. So he was from another country, but he studied history, resources, lifestyles of other countries, and he wrote about it. Volume 1 has two, which talks about Ethiopia and Ghana. Volume 2 has two, which is Sierra Leone and Zai. And Volume 3 has the rest of the four. So you can also please get closer and have a look. I'm 
technology family we have evolved since then <coughs> Mr. Bomani Bomani <laughs> son the, the lady is talking to you yeah he responded he responded yeah. he's just very quiet <laughs> I think he just need a hug Give him a But his name is Bomani. The, the young warrior. There's a lot of history in your family. I mean, you talk about a legacy move. Yes, yeah. yeah. of the second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. We have a picture of her right there. <clears throat> but that's also a picture of the first wife, that's Mrs. Nina Gomez Boys. With Nina Gomez and Dr. Boys, they got married for 54 years. Had two kids, a boy and a girl. The boy died only 18 months after birth. The girl lived to the age of 60 years. She died due to heart attack in the year 1961. The same year, Dr. Du Bois was preparing to come to Ghana, so he was sad he had to bury his only daughter before coming. She completed fixed university just like Dr. Du Bois. But Nina Goma, the first wife, was also a student of Dr. Du Bois at Wobah Force University, so he got married with the student. She died from stroke and depression due to the lost 18 months kick. A year after her death, then he got married with the second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. Got married for 14 years had no kids, but she had two kids from her first marriage. They were David and Robert. So Dr. Du Bois adopted the second kid, David, and named him David Graham Du Bois. Whilst they were getting married, Dr. Du Bois was at the age of 83, while Shelley was at the age of 54. So he was 29, older than her, when they got married. Please have a brief look around. What can you see of this room? Everything. Oh, yeah, you got my favorite here, Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. yeah. Something else, maybe about the pictures we have here. The, the legend himself. Pardon? They're women. They are women. Uh, yes. So because this is Shelley's room, <laughs> we've now dedicated this room to all female women, yeah. activists who help to fight for our rights and our freedom. We normally refer this room to be the ladies' room or the female room. We use this room to honor ladies. Most of them you see on the walls went into slavery, fought, and brought people out of slavery. Right on that wall, we have the first lady to go to space, the wife of Marcus Garvey, and others as well. Beneath their pictures are some brief histories, so you can please take pictures and read as well. Can you please question me if you have any questions? Wow, you know, the same ones were very active. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mr. Bomani. The lady was checking on you. She wanted to give you a hug. If not, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take your hug and get my hug. Just <laughs> 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 a little, a little, you know, a little humor and everything. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, yes. We're always at some. Yeah, you can make your way out there. There's a few of us there. The family is an incredible legacy wall. Okay, so we have a radio right on that table. When Shirley came to Ghana, she became the first director of GBC. That is Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. So we had that Ghana made radio. <coughs> By then it has only three radio stations, which was GBC 1, GBC 2, and 3. One for Ghana, two for the African continent, and three was for the whole world. So while Shelley will be working, Dr. The Boys will be listening to the wife through this week. Nice. Mm -hmm. wow. We are pleased moving to the personal library of Dr. <coughs> Yes, ancient technology family, we have evolved. Now they got these little phones that do all these things that this big box used to do. Isn't that amazing? So, you know, you're thinking about a career, think about a career in technology and innovations and business operations. And climate resilience. Yeah. Repeat that, you said something about climate. You said, uh, you said climate. And climate, climate resilience. resilience. Uh, oh, I never. Yes. That is what I do. It's a, it's a great mind right here. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She yes. said that is what she does. That, that is beautiful right there. I never even thought about that. That's what she does right there. Don't go out. I have some theories. Yeah, 